Hello everyone. Um, so in this video, we're gonna see how to set up uh, a render agnostic system using Multiverse for Maya. I'm using Multiverse version 6.4.1 and I'm gonna show you how to render this asset with the different shading networks, with different renderers, and also how to interpret the rendering attributes for uh, each render. So let's start. Uh, we have our uh, USD asset, which will be uh, read through Multiverse. And uh, you can see here we have uh, the basic asset as a base layer, and we layered on top uh, the material assignment. This is done simply by um, outputting your geometry with the material assignment attribute set to on. So once you've done that, uh, um, you can layer this material assignment assignment on top and you will see these gray icons here that means that this shape for example the cornea shape of a, uh, sorry the color shape in this case or whatever shape in fact let's say the body um, has a material assigned and that material is called Maneki SG if you hover you will see the name uh, actually if you click with the middle mouse button you also find more information um, and you will find for example that the multiverse material string is set to Maneki SG uh, so all these uh, actually all these ma all these objects have uh, Maneki SG here. So it's kind of the same shading group, and you might wonder uh, how we are gonna render uh, with different renderers since the material name is the same. And uh, we will show you here how. So uh, we have uh, uh, multiple shading networks for each of the main renderer. We have uh, uh, 3D Light DL Principled, Arnold AI Standard Surface, V-Ray V-Ray Material, and uh, Renderman Pixar Disney. Each of them is here and is connected to a set of substance texture, uh, textures, but none of these material assigned. Actually, what we have assigned to that shape is the Maneki material, which is just a Lambert node. So, uh, and you can see this because you can see it here, just a Lambert. So, what we do now is uh, uh, tell through multiverse, we can say assign to this hierarchy a set of materials coming from uh, uh, specified. Uh, to a namespace. As a matter of fact, if you look here, you can see uh, each of these nodes has a namespace, NSI, Arnold, V-Ray, and Renderman. So what we do now, if I render right now, for example, with Arnold, we will see just a gray material, and we see also that subdivision surfaces are not set. And likewise, if we render with 3D Light or Renderman, it will be the same. So let's render with Renderman. And we see pretty much the same. The lighting is set up, is similar. There is a directional light and a, an environment light for each of the renders, including V-Ray. Um, so before I render with every renderer, uh, let's let's explain. We have uh, the MV set node is here, and the MV set node is actually um, containing a set node and a DL set node. Um, this set node is used is the standard Maya set node is used. So we can set in it um, subdivision surface uh, attributes in this case, or any other attribute you may want to add. And uh, uh, the same we do for V-Ray. We have subdivision set to on, and we also have it for renderman, subdivision set to on. And for 3D Light, 3D Light has its own set node, and we have render mesh as a subdivision set here. So, why is not rendering with uh, with subdivision surfaces then? It's very simply because we have not yet assigned the set node to this hierarchy. So we are gonna simply right mouse button, assign existing MV set. And now each renderer will inherit all these attributes. So if we render with 3D light, boom, we have subdivisions. If we render with renderman, boom, we have subdivisions. If we render with Arnold, <coughs> sorry, boom, we have subdivisions. And uh, if we render with V-Ray, it will be the same. Let's also do V-Ray. V-Ray actually requires you to do this, to manually switch. And uh, then V-Ray, show frame buffer, and we kick a render. So we have subdivision surfaces here too. Great, now we want the shaders. How do we do the shaders? Super simple. We just, because we, as we see here, we just have a, a namespace in front of a material which has the same name, all we need to do is enable the material namespace and type the name of the, of the namespace, in this case is the name of the renderer, 
V-Ray and uh, just render again. And now material magically assigned and it will be the same for each renderer. I go here, I will kill this. I write NSI for 3D light, render with 3D light, no problem. And uh, it will be the same with uh, Arnold and um, Renderman. Let's do this. We type Renderman and render with Renderman. There you go. And by the way, this works also in the Renderman Interactive Viewport as well. And finally, we render with Arnold. Select the MD set, type Arnold. Render. And materials are assigned. So we've seen how to do this uh, without breaking any connection. This is a very powerful workflow allows you to make uh, cross-rendering setups. You don't have to do cross-rendering setups, of course, it's just an example. And uh, it leverages on uh, USD and of course, uh, um, uh, the nice functionalities of uh, Multiverse for Maya. So thanks a lot and uh, see you next time.